What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. Quick video here. A uh, reminder, we'll be live tonight, 8 o'clock, breaking down the, uh, the the final cuts as they come in. Uh, still a few more that we're waiting on, but for right now, already a couple surprises. Uh, starting with Tevin Coleman, um, the lone veteran of that running back group. I know they still have Ty Johnson. Uh, you, know, you have Zonovan Knight right now, four running backs. I don't think they're going to keep all four, so I think one of those two probably goes. Uh, but still a little bit of a surprise to see Coleman go. Uh, more so just you know for, for blitz pickup, knowledge of the playbook. He goes back with, uh, with Salah and LaFleur to the days of San Francisco so you kind of felt like you know with with a couple of young guys and Carter and Hall as your as your one and twos having a veteran like Coleman could help but I think that also probably speaks to the the level of play that they saw from Zonovan Knight and and what he could possibly do clearly I don't think they see that much of a drop off unless they go with Ty Johnson in which case I'll probably be questioning that one um, you go to the the D line, Tanzel Smart, back to back summers. He's just you know been been popping off the the charts, making plays, getting after the quarterback. Um, he's physical, he's violent, all the things that you know Coach Salah talks about. But at the end of the day, it's it's a numbers game, and unfortunately, there's just a, a lot of talent in front of him. Um, so it, it would not be a, a surprise at all to see him on somebody else's 53 man roster. Um, you go to safety, and that's probably the, the biggest surprise to this point, where you get the, the first notification that Will Parks got cut, and then about 10 minutes later, you get the notification that Jason Pinnock also got cut. So right now, you're looking at Ashton Davis and Tony Adams as your two backup safeties. Um, it seems like uh, a lot of people are hyping up Tony Adams now, undrafted free agent that the Jets think could be a, a nice developmental prospect, but still having Ashton Davis, I can't, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't possibly understand that, or how he has you know, outplayed Will Parks, or... Um, you know, Pinnock to this point, it seemed like they were pretty high on Pinnock, and he offers you some versatility playing corner as well. Uh, so very, very surprised by that one. Um, I'm, I'm sure they're going to try to bring uh, both players back for the practice squad, uh, but you wonder if maybe there's a, another move that Joe Douglas looks to make. I don't think there's a whole lot of confidence right now in LaMarcus Joyner. He's kind of struggling a little bit in camp as well, so I think you do need a, a third safety. And then you go to cornerback. You know, yesterday they cut Javelin Guidry. Today they cut Isaiah Dunn. And, you know, I thought one of those two was going to make it, either, you know, sticking with uh, with Gidry for the, the depth in the slot, or you go with Isaiah Dunn just to have a, another young guy to develop on the outside. But they cut both. So now you got you got seven corners right now, one of them being Justin Hardy, who I don't think is actually going to get any reps at corner. Uh, the other being uh, Rashad Wild Goose, who I don't think is going to make the team. I think he's still probably going to get cut. So essentially, you know, you kind of have five cornerbacks right now. I think Wild Goose's spot probably ends up being some kind of waiver claim or you know some kind of move that Joe Douglas makes. So I'm looking at another corner, another safety, swap out Ashton Davis, swap out Wild Goose for those two guys, and then probably still another tackle. I, I think that the, the level of concern that we had uh, about the depth at tackle uh, prior to Becton getting hurt was justified. And then you know you, you signed Dwayne Brown, who you know in theory was the guy that a lot of us wanted to be depth. Well, now he's starting, so who's the backup behind him? Yesterday there were reports that the Jets might you know be willing to listen to offers on Chuma Adoga, and everyone was excited. And you know I'm not going to say I love Chuma Adoga, but isn't he not right now your your top depth? tackle so you know if you do move on from Adoga you know if he ends up getting cut or traded whatever it is and even if he's still on the roster you know the, the next man up is what Max Mitchell or McDermott or they keep Brand Herman so I, I still think you need to, to add a veteran tackle along with a corner and a safety so hope you guys enjoyed talk to you in a little bit